Welcome back in. Final segment of the week as you hear Montel Jordan's melodious tunes to bring us back in. We have had an incredible week, and I appreciate all of you for hanging out with us here in the Geico Outkick Studios. It has been a whale of a week, right? Anytime you get the President of the United States on your radio show, you got to take a step back and say, hey, we must be doing something right. And I think we got a lot right going on as we head into the weekend. No hyperbole here. U.S. Open, Eastern and Western Conference Finals in the NBA. Really legitimate down-the-stretch run pennant races in Major League Baseball. The NFL and college football. It's hard to have ever had, in conjunction with the U.S. Open, a better weekend to just kick back sit back on your couch, and be able to enjoy everything that is going on. So we finish off the week's show. I probably don't spend enough time saying thank you. Saying thank you to all of you out there who have made us a part of your mornings or have made us a part of your podcast downloads. We really deeply appreciate you. Whether it's me, whether it's Danny G, whether it's Roberto, whether it's Dub, whether it's Eddie Garcia. Five years ago, we started this show. And people said, oh, Fox Sports Radio in the mornings, nobody's ever going to care. That's what people said. When I took over this gig, people were like, oh, you know, radio's dead. Nobody's going to pay attention. We added a million listeners from August to September. We have one of the biggest days of downloads in the history of OutKick yesterday after the President of the United States came on the show. And so as we roll into what I think is going to be an incredible weekend of sports, I just want you guys to all know how much I appreciate you. There are a lot of options you have out there when it comes to how to spend your morning, how to spend your day places that you could be instead of hanging out with us and you have chosen to hang out with OutKick means a lot to me. Now, one of the reasons I think you're staying with OutKick is we're better than our competition. And as we roll into the weekend, I want to reiterate again, I think Joe, Bur- Joe Burrow is better than his competition. I think he is better than Baker Mayfield. I think over the next several years, you are slowly going to see in the Battle of Ohio, Joe Burrow imprint himself on the state of Ohio's DNA. And I think Baker Mayfield, as fun as he was to watch at Oklahoma, and as impressive as it is for him to have gone from no scholarship offers to the number one overall draft pick in the NFL, I think Joe Burrow's better. And as we roll into the weekend, and as everybody in Ohio is thinking, hey, was there a larger message being sent by what happened in our game between the Bengals and the Browns? I think the answer is yes. I think the larger message being sent was Joe Burrow's better than Baker Mayfield. And if I had to buy stock in one of those two quarterbacks right now, it's not remotely close. I'm buying stock in Joe Burrow. I hope you are buying stock in this radio program. As we finish off, how crazy is it? The president of the United States comes on this week for a second time. Why did he do that? Because our audience has gotten so substantial that even though there are places all over the sports universe where he could go to talk and reach a large audience, he recognizes that one of the best, if not the best places to reach the largest possible audience in sports is OutKick. And that is incredibly gratifying. So I thank you guys for listening. I thank you for sharing everything that we do. I hope that you have a phenomenal weekend as we roll into the return of the Big Ten, likely soon the return of the Pac-12, the return of the MAC. Not a joke. Legit. 
and also the return of the Mountain West. This has been a whale of a week. I hope all of you have fantastic weekends. Congrats to those of you who found us long ago. We appreciate you. We love you. DBAP, unless you need to SBAP, as I always like to say, this is Outkick the Coverage. We'll be back with you on Monday on Fox Sports Radio.